These students have worked very hard to achieve these grades and these ACT scores and attendance. So please uh, give them a big round of applause for my call on that. We're going to start with our valedictorian, and that goes to Mr. Samuel Vincent. Next, I'd like to present our salutatorian. This year we had a tie, so we have two salutatorians. Please welcome Ms. Ava Inop, who I know is going to be late, and Mr. Kendall Benson. Based on their grades, that's how they were slipped. So when I call your name, please come forward. Ms. Ava Inoff, Mr. Kendall Vincent, Mr. Samuel Vincent, Ms. Kirsten Weiss, Braden Akers, Dara Davis, Jonah Hunt, Olivia Saunders, Aubrey Derrickson, Bryce Phoenix, Eli Yori, Cassidy Thomas, and Abigail Leeds. thing on our agenda is recognition for post-secondary readiness. Now post-secondary readiness is where the students earn either academic or career ready. If they are academic ready that means they have passed one part of the ACT or have taken a dual credit in an English or math class. The career ready is if they have passed work on inter program assessments with our career and technical education programs earned an industry certification, or has taken a career technical education dual credit course. We have several students. They are going to receive a patch. So when I call your name, please come up. Tanner Atkins, Greg Nakers. Tanner is both academic and career ready. Brayden is academic and career ready. Cameron Allen, who is career ready. 
Kristen Alvarez Thomas, who is both academic and career ready. Christopher Anderson, who is academic and career ready. Santana Anderson, who is career ready. Trenton Anderson, who is academic and career ready. Calvin Armitage, who is academic and career ready. Christopher Armitage, which is academic and career ready. Dalton B. Craft, who is academic and career ready. Emma Berry, who is academic and career ready. Micaiah Blankenship, who is career ready or college ready. Marcus Bowling, who is career ready. Daniel Bradley, who is career ready. Derek Bush, who is career and college ready. Derek Butcher, who is career and college ready. James Caldwell, who is career ready. Connor Carpenter, who is career and college ready. Charlie Cottle, who is career ready. Sydney Caldwell, who is academic career ready, or academic ready, sorry. Regina Combs, who is academic and career ready. David Conant, who is academic and career ready. Allison Conley, who is career ready. Catherine Conkright, who is academic ready. Colby Conn, who is career and, and college ready. Burton Cox, who is career ready, college ready, and career ready. Skylar Kofer, who is career ready. Madison Crabtree, who is career ready. Darren Davis, who is college and career ready. McKenna Day, who is career ready. Aubrey Derrickson, who is college and career ready. Caitlin Donathan Haney, who is college and career ready. Alexandria Everman, who is career ready. And college ready. Ava Enoch, who is college ready. Jordan Everman, who is career ready. Daniel Garcia Jimenez, who is academic ready, college ready. Ethan Farrell, who is career ready. Isaac Flannery, who is career ready. Daniel is also career ready. Mia Gobby, who is college and career ready. Alexis Gobby is college and career ready. Madison Green is college and career ready. Giovanna Guerrero is career ready. Michaela Hamilton, which is college and career ready. Aaliyah Harden, which is career ready. Kristen Hawkins is career ready. Matthew Peterson is college ready. Clayton Hedges is career ready. Gabriel Henderson is college and career. Gabriel Hensley, I apologize, is college and career ready. Macy Howard is career ready. Anastasia Hurst is college and career ready. Hope Negram is career ready. Jay Stitt is career college ready. Mason Jewell is career ready. John Johnson is career ready. Cadence Johnson is career ready. Raymond Kaiser is college and career ready. Samara Keneal is college and career ready. Madison Kruger is college ready. Abigail Lees is college and career ready. Zachary Lord is career ready. Emma Loggins is college and career ready. James Lyons is college and career ready. <coughs> Caitlin Markham is college and career ready. Kirsten Martin is college ready. Clayton McCarty is college and career ready.
Kay McCarty, is college and career ready? Sarah McCarty, is college and career ready? Diego McGowan, is career ready? Presley Jackson, is college and career ready? Riley McVeigh, is college and career ready? Serena Moore, is college and career ready? Zachary Otis, is college and career ready? Elizabeth Oberholzer, is college ready? Brianka Parker, is college ready? Bryce Phoenix, is college and career ready? Amy Jo Purvis, is college ready? Bryson Purvis, is college and career ready? Raymond Reynolds, is career ready? Aiden Riddle is career ready. Christian Ritchie is college and career ready. Draven Rogers is career ready. Noah Rogers is college and career ready. Olivia Saunders is college and career ready. Sarah Sexton is career ready. Miles Saunders is college ready. Gracie Shields is college and career ready. Bryson Stigall is career ready. Brandon Sparks is college ready. Jacqueline Stubb is career ready. Cassidy Thomas is college and career ready. Logan Thomas is college and career ready. Austin Toledo is career ready. Diego Tobias is career ready. Kayleen Treadway is career ready. Jordan Tuttle is college and career ready. Eli Yori is college and career ready. Connor Vance is college and career ready. Alyssa Vice is career ready. Kirsten Vice is college and career ready. Carson Vice is college ready. Kendall Vincent is college and career ready. Samuel Vincent is college and career ready. Matthew Watkins is career ready. Megan Warren is college ready. Morgan Warren is college ready. Braxton Wilson is college and career ready. Haley Withrow is college and career ready. And Landon Daly is career ready. Did you see the crowd that we called up this evening? These students have worked very hard to achieve this status. Ava Enoch is college ready. <laughs> These young people put in a lot of effort to get the status. So let's all give them a round of applause.
Okay, now we are going to start our scholarship portion of the evening. We're going to start with Morehead State University. And the person here presenting Morehead State scholarship is Ms. Kelsey Shields.
Receiving the Dean Scholar Award, Aubrey Derrickson. Receiving the Dean Scholar Award and the Alumni Scholarship, Alexandria Everman. Receiving the Dean Scholar Award, Gabriel Hensley. Receiving the Honor Scholarship, Jonah Hunt. Receiving the Dean Scholar Award and the Heron Leadership Scholarship, Abigail Lees. Receiving the Kentucky Scholars Award, Zachary Otis. Receiving the Kentucky Scholars Award and the 16th Region Scholarship, Christian Ritchie.
Kentucky Scholars Award, Noah Rogers. Receiving the Dean Scholar Award, Cassidy Thomas. Receiving the Dean Scholar Award, Jordan Tuttle. Receiving the Commonwealth Scholarship, Morgan Warren. Receiving the Dean Scholar Award, Haley Wickrow. Let's give all our merit scholarships another round of applause. In addition to these scholarships provided by the university, I am also pleased to represent the MSU Foundation. The foundation provides nearly $1 million in scholarship support each year. These scholarships are all privately funded thanks to gifts from MSU alumni and donors. Tonight, some of their generosity is making a difference here at Bath County High School. To start off, the Lauren A. Swim Scholarship. It was established in 2006 by Steve and Rhonda Swim. This scholarship was established to honor their late daughter, Lauren Swim, who was tragically lost in an automobile accident in 2000. This scholarship goes to a Bath County High School senior with a minimal GPA of 3.0, giving preference to females.
Tonight, the 2023 Lauren A. Swim Memorial Scholarship recipient is Alexandria Everman. The Bird H. Perry Jr. Memorial Scholarship was established in 2011 by Christy Perry. This award honors the late Bird Perry, who is an MSU alumni from the class of 1969. This award goes to an incoming freshman from Bath County, with preference to those from Salt Lake, majoring in music, history, government, and political science related fields preferably. The 2023 Bird H. Perry Memorial Scholarship recipient tonight is Brayton Akers. The Breckenridge Commemorative Scholarship is a scholarship that honors students with connection to the Breckenridge Training School in Moorhead, Kentucky. The training school was established in 1924, providing education for K-12 until 1982. You may have saw this building on the University Boulevard where all of the communication, media, and language courses are taught. The Breckenridge School Society was created in 1993 to establish the spirit of Breck alumni for future generations. They also established this scholarship to support descendants of Breck alumni. Tonight, the 2023 Breckenridge Commemorative Scholarship recipient is Aubrey Derrickson. Beginning this year, MSU has created a new scholarship titled the Legacy Scholarship. This scholarship supports an incoming freshman that has a parent or grandparent that attended MSU. All students who were registered for SOAR before May 1st were considered for this award. The 2023 MSU Legacy Scholarship recipient is Alexandria Everman. The Friends of Cape Run Scholarship was established in collaboration with the Friends of Cape Run Fishing Tournament. Each year, a fishing tournament is hosted and a portion of the tournament supports student scholarships at Morgan State University. Recipients of this scholarship are selected from Brown, Bath, Menifee, Morgan, and Montgomery counties in Kentucky while having a minimal high school GPA of 3.0. The 2023 Friends of Cape Run Scholarship recipient is Riley McVeigh. Also, beginning 
year, MSU created the Early Eagle Scholarship. This award was directed towards students at the Dean Scholar level, but also committed to the university early, meaning they committed before January of this year. This year, there are four recipients from Bath County. The 2023 Early Eagle Scholarship recipients are Connor Carpenter, Alexandria Everman, Gabriel Hensley, and Haley Withrow. is the Mountain Telephone Scholarship. The Mountain Telephone, Mountain Telephone is currently the largest corporate sponsor for Morehead State Scholarships. Each year, students are selected from this county to receive a $3,000 scholarship that will be renewable all four years of their college career, considering that they make the academic requirements. Please join me in welcoming Mike Hilton to the podium to honor this recipient. This year's winner is Braden Aker. State University and the Moorhead State University Foundation. No matter where you're going to begin your career after, after high school, we wish you the best on your future endeavors. Congratulations to all of you on your upcoming graduation.
Rádio TV Globo. The trustee scholarship goes to Darren Lachey Davis. Trustee scholarship goes to Madison Hill Green. The Governor Scholars Program Scholarship goes to Jonah Cash Hunt. Another Governor Scholars Program scholarship goes to Kendall Clay Benson. Lastly, the Henry Vote Scholarship goes to Samuel Benson. Next, I'd like to welcome Ms. Jennifer Moore, who is here to present the Eastern Kentucky University Scholarships.
this fall for their academic achievements. Um, all of these students have gotten merit scholarship for varying amounts, uh, going from the Merit Award Scholarship at $3,000, where you've earned for four years, total value of $12,000, all the way up to Merit One, which is full tuition paid all four years. I'm going to go ahead and get this started with Christopher Armitage. This time, I would like to present the scholarship to a student who is attending Alice Lloyd College in the fall. It is the Appalachians, Appalachian Leaders College Scholarship for up to 10 semesters beginning with the fall of 2023 semester. This scholarship goes to Kirsten Fox.
now to present the University of Kentucky Scholarships and the 4-H Council Scholarship to Mr. Terrence Clements. First of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you to Superintendent Evans, Principal Greenberg, and our guidance counselor Crockett for allowing 4-H be in your school systems. Uh, a lot of counties, you'd be surprised, don't allow me don't allow for it so much into the school, so thank you once again for now and such. Uh, I'm going to start off, I'm pulling double duty. Um, I've been reached, uh, University of Kentucky reached out to me and said could I present a University of Kentucky scholarships and also I'm doing the 4-H Council scholarship, that, which is a local one. So I'll start off with the UK one. Of course, I'm wearing red tonight, they wouldn't be very happy, but you know what they are. So, uh, and acknowledging four individuals who are receiving the Provost Scholarship, so I will acknowledge the four, and then if you don't mind, you can give them, uh, I guess, a round of applause. Uh, first individual for the Provost Scholarship is Charlie Cotto. Uh, let's see, Ava Enoch, Brandon Sparks, and, and Carson Weiss. Second uh, scholarship announcement for University of Kentucky, which is a presidential scholarship, is, is for Samuel Vincent. Once again, on uh, 4-H Council. Uh, first of all, congratulations, class 2023. Um, I've been blessed to know a lot of you since when you was in fourth grade, going to environment on camp with me and spending night in cabins and being scared of a bug jumping on you. Uh, even to some of you a little younger than me. So, uh, congratulations, glad to see you accomplish this, uh, this goal in your life, and I can't wait to see what else you accomplish in your lives. Uh, for this year's 2023 Bath County 4-H Council Scholarship. We had applicants uh, apply. It was then turned over to a council uh, scholarship scoring committee. Uh, I don't score because it'd be very hard for me to say who who's deserving of more than others. So I turned to a group and they picked Mr. Christian Ritchie for this university. Next scholarship we have is from New Pike. It is in recognition of outstanding academic achievement. The University of Pikeville is proud to award the trustee of 
Excellent scholarship to Dara Davis. <laughs>
like to uh, give out the Bath County Cattlemen's Association Scholarship, and to do that, it's Mr. Craig. Next scholarship is the retired teacher scholarship, and that scholarship goes to Mr. Kendall Benson.
The next scholarship are the Bath County Education Association scholarships. And they go to Ms. Charlie Cottle and Mr. Carson Dice. Next, to present the Bath County Farm Bureau Scholarship and the Bath County Conservation District Scholarship is Mr. Aaron Watson. Our next scholarship is from the Bath County Homemakers, and this scholarship is awarded to Haley Withrow. Auxiliary Post of the FW, and that is presented by Mr. Jacob Stenberg. First, first of all, I want to say congratulations to all the seniors, class of 2023. And with that being said, we'd like to award our scholarship this year to Mr. Samuel Vincent.
The next scholarship is the Blood Draft Scholarship. And that goes to Mr. Logan Thomas. Here to present the Beth Lodge 55 scholarship is Mr. Dan Brotherton. Good evening. Thank each of you for being here tonight. This is a great night. And we are appreciative of all these young men and women who have done this hard for our education. Congratulate them and look forward to them further their education. While Beth Lodge has given this scholarship for many years, it is my honor to be the one to give it to the first young man to ever receive it, Mr. Jason Jim. Our next scholarship is the Jerry Thatcher Memorial Scholarship, and here to present that is Mr. Seth Thatcher. Good evening. Uh, before I get started, I just want to first say uh, thank you to Ms. Crockett and Ms. Brandenburg and Dr. Griffith and Superintendent Evans and all the folks we have up on stage uh, that have been on this uh, event to honor our seniors, our class of 2023. Uh, my mother is sorry that she could not be here to help me present. She has been uh, nursing uh, an elder sister uh, in and out of the nursing home for the last few months, and she was uh, just tired and she just could not make it this evening. So she apologizes, but she did want to say uh, or have me say uh, thank you to all those seniors who applied uh, for the. Jerry Thatcher Memorial Scholarship. We established this in 2016, shortly after my father passed away, and uh, this is the seventh year that we've done this. I'm probably going to do it for many more years. Um, I just, I, I can't possibly uh, decide uh, when we get all those applications um, who to pick. So <laughs> I'm glad that my mom was able to help me out. Um, I do want to say that I do appreciate. Um, just everybody that did apply. Uh, I enjoyed reading your applications, your essays. Um, I, I, I feel very honored that I can present this on my late college behalf, so uh, thank you for that. Uh, this year's winner of the Jerry Thatcher Memorial Scholarship is Carson Weiss.
The next scholarship is the Gerald Razor Memorial Scholarship. And this scholarship goes to Ms. Kirsten Voss. next scholarship is the Burling Tobacco Scholarship, and that also goes to Ms. Kirsten Brooks. Scholarships we have are for Fleming Mason. The representative cannot be here this evening, so she asked me to present the Fleming Mason Energy Scholarship. There were two winners, Mr. Connor Carpenter and Mr. Carson Goss. Bittersweet to be here tonight. We feel blessed to be able to provide a scholarship for students of Bath County. The John Tackett Scholarship was started to honor our youngest son, John. At the young age of 32, through organ donation, Jonah shared the gift of life with five strangers. Soon, it will be five years since Jonah went on the forest. <laughs> when he shared life, Zali from Baltimore received a kidney. Since that day, Zali has not had to have another dialysis treatment. In fact, Zali has not had 759 dialysis treatments. This past Sunday was Mother's Day. <laughs> now that's bittersweet when you have two children on earth one that's gone on before you. The first text I received Sunday morning was from Zaba. And it said, Hi, Mom. I pray you have a happy Mother's Day. God bless Zaba. What a blessing to know that our Jonah changed this man's life forever. In a couple of weeks, Mark 
the caregiver of Jonah's lungs. He will celebrate his 71st birthday. Without Jonah's gift, he only had a couple of days to live. Two days, think of that. You've only got a couple left. And now we're looking at, it's almost been five years that he's lived a healthy and productive life. When we met him in Massachusetts a couple years ago, he so graciously allowed us to see, feel, and hear Jonah's lungs breathe again. Just a few months ago, our niece in Owsley County became the recipient of a kidney. Like Zolly and Mark, a total stranger, changed her life forever. She's 24, and now she has the possibility of becoming a mother. So we have seen this process of organ donation go full circle, full circle. Gentlemen, made us a donor family, and Emily made us a recipient family. Well, in Bath County for nine years, we were able to watch many of the young men and women go through the schools that's here tonight. I'm very thankful to be here tonight to share a small piece of the final activities with all of our students here at Bath County High School this year. Emily's been very strong advocates Organ owner awareness. We share Jonah's example of how it's been life changing for our family and families of others in hopes others will talk to their loved ones about their preferences. Too many times a family is caught in an unexpected crisis like we were and they are asked to share the gift of life. Because they are uncertain in what the loved one would want them to do, family members can be left wondering if they made the right decision. When we were asked that question, because we had this conversation with Jonah, we knew Jonah's choice. If we had not known, five people would not have been given a chance, second chance. We hope that by making this scholarship available each year, it generates conversations among families with all the loved ones. The essays also give some insight to key points that are on the minds of the teens. So we would like to thank each of the applicants for sharing your thoughts on such a tough subject, because it really is. Thank you for the time and the thoughts you put into the essays. I have to say you really gave the selection committee much to think about. They were really impressed and touched by the essays. And after going through the applications and essays many, many times, the decision was made by them to award three scholarships. One, as we had said, would be at $1,000. And additionally, there are also two $500 awards. The first recipient we'd like to recognize and come to the stage for a $500 award is Miss Ava E.
the uh, recipient of the $1,000 award of the 2023 John Tackett Memorial Scholarship is Ms. Anastasia Hurst. Our next scholarship is the R.L. Brown Foundation Scholarship, and that is Ms. Alice <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2023. Um, so Mr. Robert Brown had deep roots in Sharpsburg, and upon his death in 2015, he left a generous estate gift to support the residents of Sharpsburg in that county. Um, the R.L. Brown's Foundation Scholarship is intended for students with the potential for academic success, with a preference for first generation college students. Um, so I'm really pleased to announce that uh, this, this year's recipient for an amount of $5,000 renewable for four years is Ms. Ava Enoch. Our next scholarship is from the Oswald Women's Clubs. That is a new scholarship this year. And, that, and here to present that is Ms. Linda Shrapp. First of all, congratulations, senior class of 2023 from Lake High School. Tonight is quite a, an honor to represent the Owensville Women's Club as we celebrate 104 years of community service to our community and present our $500 scholarship. I am proud to announce the recipient of this year's award is Madison Green. Our next scholarship is the Lakeview Community Church Scholarship. And that here to present that scholarship is Ms. Camille Hamilton. Hello, 
I'm Camille Hamilton, and this evening I'll be representing Lakeview Community Church. And I have the privilege of presenting the scholarship created for our high school graduates who regularly attend Lakeview Community Church. This year's recipient will receive a $500 scholarship award for their first semester of post-secondary enrollment. Thereafter, the student shall receive an additional $500 each semester that he or she remains on the institution's dean's list. The student is eligible for scholarship for up to four years after graduating high school and will receive a maximum of $4,000 over eight semesters. It is a pleasure to award this very deserving young man this year's recipient of the 2023 Lakeview Community Church Scholarship goes to Mr. Jonah Cash Hunt. The next scholarship we have is the Chenault Scholarship. Here to present that scholarship is Mr. John Hammonds. Hello. The Chenault Scholarship is an agricultural scholarship for $1,000 per year. It is renewable for up to five years or a bachelor's degree, whichever comes first. And the recipient of this scholarship is Alexandria Page Kibber. Scholarship is called the Now Scholarship. This is the Outgoing Working Ladies Club Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Ms. Kirsten Moss. is from the St. Clair Foundation Scholarship and Ms. Mindy Holly is here for Good evening. I think I'm one of the last, if not the last, private presenter and I'm really excited to be here and I'd like to be able to say they saved the best for last but thank you do that because so many of these awards have been spectacular. I've been in the scholarship business for a long time and I don't know what the dollar amount is that you all have wrapped up tonight but this class is on it. So congratulations to all of you honorees tonight and on behalf of St. Clair, particularly those of you going into healthcare. So I'm going to invite uh, Hayden Price to join me and he has done so because he, he's on it too because he's a backup graduate. So he's, uh, he's trying to join me on behalf of the Citizens Bank. 
The scholarship that I have to present tonight is an innovative concept, and it's a partnership between the Citizens Bank and St. Clair Healthcare. And it is a very new scholarship. So new, in fact, that the student who's receiving it tonight is not even aware that they have applied for it. Um, when, they, when you apply for St. Clair Healthcare scholarships, you fill out one form and it applies you for all the scholarships that we have. So we had our pool of applicants for this year, and this scholarship is something that we just developed in the last couple of weeks. And so the student is going to be really surprised tonight that they're getting this award. The Citizens Bank Healthcare Scholarship is presented to a student who attends school in Bath, Rowland, or Morgan Counties as going into the healthcare field. And so tonight we're excited to present this award. It is a $10,000 scholarship. And that's a big deal. <laughs> but wait, there's more. It comes with an offer of employment upon graduation. So when the student finishes their degree, they will be offered employment from St. Clair. So tonight we are excited to present the very first inaugural recipient of the Citizens Bank Healthcare Scholarship to Ava Enoch. scholarship is called the Powered by Inclusion Scholarship. This scholarship was given to two students here at the high school, and those two students. It's a $2,500 scholarship, and this scholarship goes to Mr. Zachary Lloyd and Ms. Santana Anderson. scholarships that we have for the not tonight. The rest of our awards are classroom awards, so we'd like to thank our presenters for being here tonight and presenting your awards. Thank you all. Our next award is called the Seal of Excellence in Art and Music. This is given to students that had to meet certain criteria to receive these awards. We have three students in music that receive these awards. When I call your name, please come up. Sydney Colwell, Jonah Hunt, and Brianna Parker.
our seal of excellence in art goes to Morgan Moore. Good evening, everyone. The presenter a few minutes ago stole my thunder before we got up here. Just want to let you know how very proud I am of all the seniors and all you've done. Uh, didn't do a hard math count, but there's been several million dollars all across this stage. I just hope that you take the opportunity to take that advantage of what was given to you and make good on it. I know you will. Wonderful kids. Very proud of all of them. I'm Steve Evans. I'm superintendent. We have a super superintendent student advisory council. Those students apply to be on that. We met twice this year. We, it's my second year we met last year. They come in and we share thoughts about the high school, what's going on, what we do with our culture, how we can make things better. Uh, they've been wonderful to work with. They've given lots of great ideas. We've implemented many, many of them. So tonight, I will talk long. I know you, you've been here a while. I just want to take time to say thank you to those students and thank you to all our seniors. So call your name, please come forward. Kendall Benson, Samuel Benson, Ava Ina, Charlie Collin, Jace Gent, Kristen Weiss, Abigail Lees, Carson Weiss, and Mason Lyons. We are going to give out the classroom awards for Miss Beaver. The student getting the Health Science Future Lifesaver Award is Miss Riley McVeigh. The student getting the Health Science Compassion Award is Miss Hannah Roman. Mr. Ramey has given us some art certificates for seniors. I have three. The Senior Art Student of the Year 
and is, is Miss Lorna Moore. The Art 160 Student of the Year is Mr. Jay Stint. And the Digital Imaging Student of the Year is Mr. Tanner Atkins. So that would be my, uh, me and uh, Ms. Jackson and Ms. Rupert. 
and we agree on more than one. certifications that the students have earned an ad, and to present those awards is Mr. John Hammonds. Okay, what we're going to do is call off your name and as your call, this one is for principles of small engine technology certification, that is Madison Green. As you come across the stage and receive your industry certification, just exit and come down to the bottom of the stand we'll get a large group photo. Next, we have our food safety and science certification. In that category, we have Cameron Allen, Anastasia Hurst, Palmer Banks. Science certifications we have Santana Anderson, Trent Anderson, Regina Combs, Catherine Conkrow, Allison Common, McKenna Day, Paige Evan, Isaac Flannery, Giovanna Guerrero. <coughs> Kristen Hawkins, Macy Howard, Jason Jim, Zach Lloyd, <coughs> Kaylee McCartan, Diego McCallum, Serena Moore, Aiden Riddle, Drayden Rogers, Jacqueline Stuff. Kelly Treadway, Connor Banks, 
Kirsten Bass, Braxton Wilson, Haley Withrow, Science certificate, and now this is our fundamentals of animal science certification as well. Some of these will be a repeat again. Some of these guys have worked extremely hard. Uh, we have a few that have come back over a couple of times, so that would be Santana Anderson, Trent Anderson, Marcus Bowden, David Bradley, Regina Combs. Skyler Kofi, Aubrey Derrickson, Paige Evan, Caitlin Haney, Macy Howard, Raymond Kaiser, Zach Lowell, Kaylee McCarty, Diego Mikel, Austin Toledo, Colleen Treadway, Connor Vance, Matthew Watkins, Braxton Wilson, and Haley Withrow. Definitely want to give this group a big round of applause. They worked extremely hard on the certification. These have took many, many weeks for the students to complete. You can ask any of them. It takes quite, a time, quite some time. Thank you all again on behalf of the Agriculture Department for all your dedication and hard work.
Serena Moore, and Kirsten Nice. Assessment Award is for Retail Services, which is business. And I have three. These go to Connor Carpenter, Bryson Stigall, and Jacqueline Stubb. Assessment for Ag Power Structure and Technical Systems. I have two recipients, Clayton McCarty and Clayton Hedges. Assessment is for early childhood education, and we have about five students receiving it Madison Crouch, Michaela Hamilton, Kristen Hawkins, Anastasia Hurst, and Alyssa Voss. goes for civil engineering and then goes to Logan Thomas. Assessment is for horticulture, and I have two recipients, Ms. Presley McNabb Jackson and James Caldwell. Next, we have financial services in the program assessment. 
We had four students that passed. They are Mason Jewell, Abigail Lees, Clayton McCarty, and Zachary Oates. is for animal science, and that goes to Madison Crabtree. At this time, we are going to recognize our students that had a 4.0. Please come get your certificate and stand down here in front of the state. So I'm going to shot you a picture. Greg Nakers, Calvin Armitage, Dave Bradley, Nancy Catron, Charlie Cobble, Sydney Caldwell, Regina Collins, David Conant, Colby Conn. Skylar Kofer, Emily Crouch, Dara Davis, Aubrey Derrickson, Mason Donathan, Ava Enoch, Alexandria Everman, Daniel Garcia Jimenez, Madison Green, Jonah Hunt, Emma Likens, Kirsten Martin, Clayton McCarty, Riley McVeigh, Bryce Penix, Joshua Crater, Amy Jo Purvis, Christian Ritchie, Noah Rogers, Marvel Salazar, Olivia Saunders, Gracie Shields, Michael Stevens, Jordan Tuttle, Eli Yori, Carson Vice, Kirsten Vice, Kendall Vincent, Samuel Vincent. Morgan Warren and Braxton Wilson.
Tanner Atkins, Cameron Allen, Christopher Anderson, Trayvon Anderson, Dalton Beecraft, Matthew Blevins, Marcus Bowling, Derek Bush, Derek Butcher, James Caldwell, Connor Carpenter, Allison Conley, Madison Crabtree, McKenna Day, Caitlin Jonathan Haney, Mia Godby, Aaliyah Harden, Gabriel Hensley, Macy Howard, Anastasia Hurst, Jace Gent, Cadence Johnson, Raymond Kaiser, Samara Keneal, Abigail Lees, Kaylin Markham, Kaylin McCarty, Sarah McCarty, Serena Moore, Amelia Oliver, Zachary Otis, Rianca Parker, Bryson Purvis, Hannah Rowland, Christian Snedeker, Brandon Sparks, Jacqueline Stuff, Cassidy Thomas, Logan Thomas, Daniel Tobias, Kaylee Treadway, Connor Vance, and Haley Withrow. for the evening are our Citizenship and Leadership Awards. These are students that are nominated by the faculty and staff at Bath County High School and are also voted on by the staff at Bath County High School. We're going to start with our Citizenship Awards. Our female recipient, recipient of the Citizenship Award is Haley Withrow. Our male recipient for the Citizenship Award is Eli
Before we let you go tonight, we would like to thank all of our presenters, say congratulations to all of our seniors who got awards or certificates. I also would let you know that for this senior class, every one of them are great. Before you leave, we're going to have a closing prayer, and then as you go out, there are some box meals with Miss Vicki Wells out there on some tables as you leave. Feel free to grab them if you'd like. Now, I would like to ask Miss Sarah McCarty to do our closing prayer. Dear God, we thank you for all the support we have here tonight. We are grateful for everyone who has made this event possible for our students. We ask that you continue to be with these students as they enter a new chapter of life and that we all return from safety to the In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.